Yuhua Entertainment created a semi-funky, promising five-member Korean Chinese boy group that you may or may not remember called Unique. This boy group definitely left somewhat of an impact on the music scene as they promoted between 2014 through 2018 before they suddenly disappeared. So what happened to them? Well, let's talk about it. Sung Yoon, Yibo, Yishuan, Sung Ju, and Wen Han debuted on October 14, 2014 with the single Falling in Love. Falling in love. This was a great debut in my opinion. The guys looked really good in their school uniforms, professing their love to their interest. It's a sweet love song and the beat is really nice too as well as the vocals. There was a lot of hype when they debuted, I remember, and to me when this video dropped it was well deserved. There's also an English version to this song so let me know if you've heard it and which one you prefer. I personally like the Korean one better and I still listen to it occasionally. The single peaked at number 16 on the charts. On December 2nd, 2014, Unique would get their own reality TV show on E! key called the best debut it's a really good show and it lets us in on how funny and charming the guys are we get to see their personalities and how their lives are like as they've been navigating through this newfound path to the idol lifestyle although they're a little shy at times they do seem pretty comfortable and confident as rookies and they definitely carry themselves as professionals probably because they trained under jyp for most of their pre-debut days i also thought it's funny how they rag on each other as most guys do to one another i had no idea that they had a tv show when they were promoting so let me know if you've seen this show and if you haven't i suggest you do because it's well worth a watch now if you're interested in learning more about the guys it's still very entertaining to me to this day on April 28, 2015, the guys came back with the EP and matching title track, Iu Iu. <laughs> is my favorite song of theirs hands down it's just so addictive from the rapping to the vocals especially the dance i felt like this was yibu's era right here like this concept was definitely his for the win i'm glad that this song was mainly rapping with the vocalist filling in here and there because it shows a different side to the members that hadn't been shown previously in their debut this comeback won the guys an award so they were doing pretty good with this and the public definitely received it well it peaked at number seven on the charts and it sold over 7.8k copies seriously if you haven't heard this song or watched the video or seen them perform it live stop this video go watch that one or do one of the three it's that good trust me on October 16, 2015, Unique gave their fans a single for their one-year anniversary called Best Friend. <laughs> This is a 
slower song that's actually pretty decent. I wasn't crazy about it though. However, it is a sweet commemoration to the fans. I just felt like it was a bit mediocre, so I wasn't that into it. But let me know your thoughts on it. The song peaked at number 24 on the charts. After a few singles here and there, the guys ended up going on a hiatus after 2017. If you follow the guys individually, then you may know that they all ended up going on their own separate paths. Yibo started taking off in the acting world and really pursuing that career. When Han debuted in an entirely different group called U9, Yishuan debuted in another group as well called New Storm, Sung Young followed in their footsteps and transitioned to another group as well called X1, and finally Sung Ju at the time had enlisted in the military for his mandatory service term. There was never an official statement from the company as to what exactly happened with Unique, which is so unprofessional and inconsiderate. I literally hate when they do that. The members never really came out and explained what happened either, at least not to my knowledge. Unique released one EP and 10 singles during their time promoting, as well as being nominated for one award and winning seven. Well, that's all we have on Unique. They definitely lived up to their name because they gave us such a fresh and interesting take on music. They did Chinese, English, Korean, even Japanese songs, and they were popular in Taiwan as well. They had so much potential and could have really gone even further than they did, but their company just let them wither away for some reason. I was hoping to see more from them, but this is all we got. Let me know your thoughts on Unique. Did you know who they were? And if so, who is your favorite member and what was your favorite song? Why do you think they broke up or like transitioned to different groups? And do you follow the new groups that some of the members have branched off into? Until the next video, I'll see you around. Masalem.